It's interesting actually because one of the trends we're seeing as well is obviously when you look at it uh, to your point from a, a commercial and financial perspective, we're moving away from the traditional commercial setup and it's a lot more looking at actually the tooling that supports usage so you understand who needs to use it, when they need to use it, how they need to use it and a lot of the commercial constructs are very much usage based now which is very different from where we were even as you say sort of two, three years ago. But uh, where you have uh, bursty models so there are certain times when you need uh, enormous capacity. Now you don't need that all the time so when you're building your fixed infrastructure and you're building it to cope with a peak then in industries I've worked in before, so especially in media, your peak can be a thousand times your average. So suddenly you've got to build to a thousand times more than what you need most of the time. So th you have to, uh, that becomes a consideration then in how you build that service. So how can you draw on that when you need it and how do you make sure that you switch it off again when you don't? So there are ways of managing things, but it does, it, it, there's, it's an extra consideration in how you build and manage services so in, and it is a managing thing you mm. have to make sure you don't just build things and leave them anymore you have to be on top of how you're managing it going forward mm.